Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, so we're going to be asked to simplify fully, and the key word here is the word fully, uh, these two algebraic fractions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at my first fraction, and I'm going to factorise it for 2. So I get 2 multiplied by x minus 6, all divided by x minus 4. Now, when we are dividing fractions, what we do is multiply and flip. So now my new numerator is going to be this expression, which I can then factorise for x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 4. Now, if you're not sure how I've done that, please do let me know in the comments and I will send you a playlist or a link through to a new video. OK, so my new denominator is going to be the factorisation of this. And this is where it gets a little bit trickier and I do have a playlist on this particular factorising. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 2 times minus minus 36 is going to be minus 72. And then I want two numbers that when I multiply them together make minus 72, and when I add them together make minus 6. And those two numbers are going to be minus 12 and plus 6. So I can rewrite my denominator as 2x squared minus 12x plus 6x minus 36. Nothing's changed. I've just rewritten it in a slightly different way. So I'm going to then work forward a little bit and I just need to rewrite what I've written before. And let's have a look then at my denominator of the second fraction. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorise the first two terms. Now, if I factorise the first two terms, I'm going to factorise them for 2x and I get x minus 6. And then I factorise the second two terms and if I factorise those for plus 6, guess what? I get x minus 6 again. So therefore I've now got a common term which allows me then to rewrite everything as x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 4 on the top. And on the bottom here, I've got x minus 6, which is common to both. And that's going to be multiplied by 2x plus 6. OK, so now I'm in the excellent position where I can start to simplify this particular fraction. OK, so let's have a look. Well, I've got x minus 4. I can divide through top and bottom by x minus 4. And then I've got x minus 6, top and bottom, x minus 6. And what that leaves me is 2 multiplied by x minus 5, all divided by 2x plus 6. Now, that would just about get you there, but you might recall right at the very beginning it says simplify fully. So you might be able to spot that my denominator I can actually factorise for 2. So what I end up with is the ability to be able to divide top and bottom through by 2, and therefore my final answer on this particular question is going to be x minus 5, all divided by x plus 3, and that would be the answer to this particular question. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.